What's up guys, it's Joshua Simmons here, Aesthetic Calisthenics, and in this video, it's gonna be like a vlog style thing. If you didn't know already, I'm in Nottingham. I've basically started uni by this induction week, and I'm not even gonna lie yet, this vlog's gonna be probably that like, boring, I can't even lie. Like, vlogs are hard. You have to like plan what you're gonna do in the day and everything, oh, it's just a lot. Today I'm gonna try it out, yeah, but like, We'll see what happens. I can't really plan what's going to happen because I don't know. And um, if it's fun, then like, you'll love it. If it's not, well then I'm sorry. But I'm going to try and post consistently because I know it's what you guys want. So yeah, I'll see you when I see you. Blessings, I feel like I'm falling, the birdie is back Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something That's why I ain't calling, phone and progression It's all that I wanted, a phone with affection I summon and dub it At the moment uh, I'm going to do some social media Marketing, editing That's what th one thing that I'm trying to get into now I'm currently doing it for the gym that I was at in Coventry, the calisthenics gym. By the way, great gym. If you're in Coventry and you want to do calisthenics like me, that is like the gym to go to. I'm not even going to lie. But yeah, here yeah, just doing some editing on iMovie, making it look presentable. Got to bang out content for these guys twice a day. Get the, um, <clears throat> gets their name out there so people can see it more, get more awareness and then more people can see it and more people can go to their gym so it's a win-win i'm doing that for them i'm working for them at the moment it's something i want to do more like for not even these guys but for more businesses so if you're in, if you are if you want someone to manage your social media for you like i'm here like in the space of like a month i've got like 300 to f i think between 300 and 400 followers just by like researching and banging out content on my instagram and doing it smart with all the research i've done and i'm only getting better so yeah a little promotion in there but yeah it's just my day like it's a, a bit boring like i'm doing some editing nothing like exciting it's not like wow he's living a life but it's what you gotta do anyway it's what you gotta do to do well you know what i mean you've got to do the boring tasks you've got to you know, just keep at it be resilient and yeah good things will happen so yeah i'll see you in a bit possibly doing something more fun and engaging for you love but yeah all right now i've done the video editing for today i've got a bit more to do so i can get it all done throughout the whole week so I can do uni and not have to worry about the whole video editing. But I'll do that after I go to the gym. It's gonna be my first time going to a gym in Nottingham in the two weeks I've been here. So yeah, I'm gonna ride my bike there. And then, yeah, see what it's like. It's kind of like a CrossFit calisthenics gym. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram who do calisthenics go there. So I'm gonna try it out, see what it's like. Good gym session. All right. Alright, so I'm at the gym. I was gonna go to that CrossFit gym, but while I was cycling on the way there, I came across Pure Gym and I was like, why would I like cycle all the way past Pure Gym to go to another gym when it's right here? So I just I just went to Pure Gym. I've already got like a membership in Pure Gym, so it was easy. So yeah, I'm just gonna do some training. I haven't properly trained in a while like at a gym anyway so it's going to be a fun experience to see where I'm at and yeah we'll see how I do so I always start my training off with like a skill session so for this part I'm doing handstands as you can see I don't like get the handstands all the time sometimes like I make mistakes but I can see improvement, like my handstands getting straight, more consistent, only took me one try then. And yeah, and I'm holding it for quite long. I think this was about 15 to 20 seconds. So not too bad. Next we're moving to like planche training. So I'm doing advanced tuck planche here. Like I wanna get the planche, I wanna get the straddle planche by the end of the year. 
that's my goal i'd say I, I went off of it because i thought i didn't have the strength to do it i thought i was like flogging a dead horse for training but now i'm back to it to the front lever i haven't been training my back in quite a while so you can see like my form on my front lever is off like i am bent like a banana it's not nice so uh no like that's my weakness at the moment and i've got to train it so i've took i digressed it down straddle planche now which is an easier progression still a little bit of a bend but not as bad but yeah bit of an issue i'm a bit annoyed by that so yeah to like help with that banana body i went to do some dragon flags this is going to train your core to be able to be strong in all the in all the movement so even when you're a bit more what's the word <clears throat> even when your abs are like a bit extended they can still like be strong in that movement you see how when i'm doing the dragon flag i'm bending in my body in my torso that's gonna help so now this is another exercise for the planche it's like a wall plank i think but what I'm doing is I'm leaning forward in the wall plank. It puts a lot of strain on your shoulders because you have to press into the wall. All right, we cannot skip legs. Not at all. We don't do this, guys. So I'm doing weighted squats or back squats. I've got 80 kilograms at the moment. I think I did about five reps. And then I upped it to 90 in the next part. So yeah. I haven't trained legs in a while because of quarantine and then I'm also like really stiff so for me to do squats like I am prone to get injuries because like I end up doing it with bad form if I'm not fully warmed up not fully flexible so I think at the moment it's a weak part it was my strength because of kickboxing but it's slowly going I'll superset this with archer pull-ups because I have a mad rest in between sets especially for legs so in that time when I'm resting doing some of the training on my upper body it's got some arch pull-ups here and yeah and then i also did pseudo planche push-ups coming up pseudo planche push-ups great exercise compound as well good for planche so you just do a push-up but you lean as far forward as possible into like a pl um, pseudo planche lean what i'm trying to do at the bottom of the push-up is raise my feet off the floor that's going to put all your body weight onto your arms which is going to make the pseudo planche push up so much more intense it looks a bit dumb because like i'm a bit more i'm a bit tired coming towards the end of the session my airpod fell out all right now bumped up the squat rack to 90 kilos See so yeah, how many reps do I get? I think I get three, but it was terrible for one. You can't see my legs are buckling like mad. Facial expressions are always ridiculous on squats, can't lie. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> oh fun. So now I'm moving on to handstand push-ups on the wall. My shoulders are like fried from all the planche work, the pseudo push-ups, but I'm just gonna kill them off even more. You gotta do handstand push-ups or pike push-ups. It's a great compound exercise. It's a fundamental one for like shoulder strength, pushing strength. So I always do it in every workout. What I'm trying to do is keep my core engaged, keep my body in line with the wall i don't want to arch my back and like put my chest towards the floor because that's gonna engage the wrong muscles you're not gonna work your shoulders you're gonna work your chest and when i do that it's a lot harder now i move into single leg deadlifts i wanted to incorporate more hamstring work in my training because um i'm doing a lot of cycling which involves a lot it's very quad dominant but if you do too much quads and not enough hamstrings you're going to get an imbalance and i don't want that because that's just injury injury kingdom you know what i mean so doing hamstring work with the single leg deadlifts which is a killer just to get the um 
what's the word get the balance in my legs all right it's time to go now that was a hard session my legs especially are dying so yeah nice way to start back some good skill work some good leg work i incorporated more hamstring work used with the single leg deadlifts because i'm doing a lot more cycling which is more quad dominant so i want to get that balance yeah gotta get home get ready and then i'm meeting with someone at six so gotta be quick so yeah i'll catch you when i next see you so it's 11 o'clock now and I'm just gonna go to bed uh tomorrow's the start of uni like proper start like the first week it's like a lecture week the first week was a um induction week so basically just going through everything that we need to know but this week that's coming up now it's like actually doing like the academic engineering part so it's going to be fun uh, very hectic like tomorrow is from nine till five with a one hour break thought i had to go into uni but i don't it's all online so yeah it's a bit boring but gotta do it gotta do it so yeah a not so exciting day but how my day's going or how my uni life's going at the moment so hope you enjoyed this was joshua simmons aesthetic calisthenics peace out